In today's episode, we will be monitoring the battery voltage of wirelessly using a Bluetooth module HC05 or HC06, Arduino Uno Omega, and an Android cell phone. This project can also be used to monitor solar panels. In fact, you can monitor anything so far the voltage that is to be monitored is less than or equal to 25 volts. Let's get started. This is the voltage sensor module that we will be using today. This module is capable of measuring the voltages ranging from 0.0 to 445 volt to 25 volts DC. But if you want to measure voltages higher than 25 volts, then you can watch my tutorials on how to modify this voltage sensor for monitoring higher voltages. In this tutorial, I performed all the calculations. I will provide a link in the description. As you can see on one side we have a block terminal that is where we connect the voltage and ground wires coming from the battery, solar panel or any other source. The voltage wire is connected with the VCC terminal and the ground is connected with the ground terminal. On the other side we have three male headers labeled as S, plus and minus. The S pin of the sensor module is connected with the analog pin of the Arduino Uno Omega and the minus pin is connected with ground of the Arduino while the plus pin is not connected. As in the beginning I said that we can measure DC voltages ranging from 0.0 to 445 volt to 25 volts DC. Now the question is how we know that the input voltage should be greater than 0.0 to 445 volts. As you know my friends, the maximum Arduino analog input voltage is 5 volts. And we know that Arduino AVR chip have 10-bit AD analog to digital converter. So, 5 divided by 1023 equals to 0.00489 resolution. So, 0.00489 into 5 is equal to 0.02445 volts. So, the input voltage of this module should be more than 0.0 to 445 volts. Let's have a look at the circuit diagram of the voltage sensor. It simply consists of two resistors connected in series which makes a voltage divider circuit. Few days back I uploaded a tutorial on electronics voltage divider circuit basics, practical use of voltage divider, datasheet and calculation. I recommend you should watch this tutorial for the best understanding. As you can see the resistor values used in this module are 30k and 7.5k. Let's perform calculations for this circuit. Maximum input voltage of this module is, is equal to 25 volts DC. So Vn is equal to 25 volt. R1 is equal to 30 kilo ohm. R2 is equal to 7.5 kilo ohm. We can find out the output voltage by using the voltage divider formula which is V out is equal to R2 into Vn divided by R1 plus R2. V out is equal to 7.5 into 1000 into 25 divided by 30k plus 7.5k. V out is equal to 187500 divided by 37500. V out is equal to 5 volts. If we increase the voltage above a 25 volt, the output voltage will increase and so will damage the analog pin of the controller. So with these resistor values we can monitor voltages up to 25 volts maximum. Let's find out the current. Using the Ohm's law V is equal to IR, we can find the current I is equal to V by R. I is equal to 25 divided by 30k plus 7.5k. I is equal to 25 divided by 37.5k. I is equal to 0 0.000666 amps, which is equal to 666 micro amps. As the resistors are connected in series, so the same current will flow through both the resistors. As the current is in micro amps, it won't heat up the resistors. Enough with the voltage sensor, now let's talk about the Bluetooth module. This is the HC05 Bluetooth module. It doesn't matter if you use HC05 or HC06. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to change pin code or password and how to change the name of a Bluetooth module using AD commands. So if you want to change its default name and password then you should definitely watch this tutorial. 
as you can see I have already soldered some jumper wires for the easy interfacing with Arduino Omega. This module has total of 6 pins labeled as state, RxD, TXD, ground, VCC and wake up. The wake up pin is used for entering the Bluetooth module into the AT commands mode. The use of wake up pin is already explained in that tutorial, link given in description. So out of these 6 pins, we will be using only 4 pins, RxD, TxD, Ground and VCC. This is the complete connection diagram of the wireless battery voltage monitoring system using Arduino and Bluetooth module. As you can see on the left side, the voltage sensor VCC is connected with the battery 12 volt input and the ground of the voltage sensor is connected with ground of battery. The S pin of the voltage sensor is connected with the analog pin A1 of the Arduino and the minus pin is connected with the Arduino's ground while the plus pin is not connected. The SC05 or HC06 Bluetooth module VCC pin is connected with Arduino's 5 volts. Ground pin of the Bluetooth module is connected with ground of the Arduino. The TXT pin of the module is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino and RXT pin of the Bluetooth module is connected with pin 3 of the Arduino. The Bluetooth module communicates with the Arduino through serial communication. As you know in Arduino, we have only one serial port available on pin number 0 and pin number 1. We will use the Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes and make another serial port using pin 2 and pin 3. I will explain this in programming how to make a serial port. Connect is pin of the sensor module with A1 of the Arduino. Now connect the minus pin of the voltage sensor with the ground of the Arduino. Now connect VCC of the Bluetooth module with 5 volts of the Arduino. Connect ground of the Bluetooth module with Arduino's ground. Connect the TXT pin of the Bluetooth module with the pin 2 of the Arduino. Connect RXT pin of the Bluetooth module with pin 3 of the Arduino. So now we are done with the interfacing and now let's start the programming. This is the program written for the wireless battery voltage monitoring system. This program can be downloaded from my blog page, link given in the description. First we start with the hash include software serial dot h. As you know my friends that the bluetooth module communicates with the Arduino through serial communication. And you know that in Arduino we have only one serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1. As I always say that use the Arduino's default serial port for debugging purposes. So if we are using Arduino's default serial port for debugging purposes, then it means we will be needing one more serial port for the Bluetooth module. So for this purpose, we are using software serial library. If you want to learn in detail how to use software serial library for making multiple ports, then watch my tutorial on software serial. Software serial blue 2 and 3. This is a function. So Bluetooth module connected here 2 and 3 are the pin numbers. Float correction factor is equal to 0 which is used for adjusting the output value. If you are satisfied with the output then leave it as such. Integer analog input is equal to A1. The voltage sensor is connected with A1 pin of the Arduino Omega. Integer analog input is equal to A1. The voltage sensor is connected with A1 pin of the Arduino Omega. Then we define two variables of the type float. Float Vout is equal to 0, 0.0. Float Vin is equal to 0, 0.0. Two resistors 30k and 7.5 kilo ohm. Float R1 is equal to 30,000. Float R2 is equal to 7500. Integer value is equal to 0. 
As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are wide setup function and wide loop function. Wide setup function runs only one time when the Arduino or Mega board is powered up. First we start with a wide setup function. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Pin mode analog input input. Using pin mode function we set the sensor as input. This function is taking two arguments as the input. The pin number or pin name and the status which can be input or output. Serial dot begin 9600. Begin serial communication at 9600 baud rate. Blue dot begin 9600. Bluetooth module baud rate. Then starts a wide loop function. Wide loop function. This function runs infinite times. Value is equal to analog read. Analog input. The voltage sensor is connected with a one pin of the Arduino. Read the sensor and then store the value in variable value. Then these are the formulas already explained. These formulas are used for finding the output voltage and input voltage. Vout is equal to value into 5 and divide by 1023. Vn is equal to Vout divided by R2 and then divide by R1 plus R2. Vn is equal to Vn minus the correction factor. These two instructions are used to send the battery voltage to the serial monitor serial dot print input v is equal to and serial dot print ln vn comma 4 this number shows the decimal points these two instructions are used to send the battery voltage to the android cell phone application blue dot print battery voltage and blue dot print ln vn comma 4 and there is a delay of 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second we are done with the programming now it's time to upload the program before you upload the program, first of all make sure that the Arduino board is connected with the laptop or computer. Then click on the tools menu and check if the right board is selected and the right COM port is selected. Then click on the upload button and wait for a while. As you can see, these are the two wires which are coming from the battery. The wire with the red line is the 12 volt wire and the other wire is the ground wire. Let's connect a digital multimeter to check the voltage. As you can see, the voltage is 14.2 volts. Now let's connect the voltage sensor with the two wires coming from battery. Connect the green wire with the 12 volt wire of the battery and connect the white wire with the ground wire of the battery. Connect a digital multimeter so that you can compare the voltages. Now turn on Arduino by connecting it with a laptop or computer or any other source. 5 to 12 volts is recommended. As you can see the Bluetooth module LED is blinking fast. It means that this module is not connected with a cell phone. Let's open the Android application. Click on search for paired devices. Turn on the Bluetooth. As you can see our Bluetooth module is not in the list because this module needs to be paired first. To pair the Bluetooth module, open Bluetooth. And search for devices. Click on the Bluetooth module and enter the pairing code which is 4321. So now you can see this module is paired. Now again open the Android application. Click on search for pair devices. 
This time you can see the Bluetooth module with the name Electronic Clinic. Select this name and then click on connect. So now you can see we can read the battery voltage using an Android cell phone. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.